Thanks for coming, guys. What can I do for you? Just your overall thoughts of the quarterback play today, Greg? Um, I thought it was it was pretty smooth. You know, today was the first day in a game situation that the coach to player communication we've used it in practice, but to do it, um, you know, in a game situation, it was interesting. Um, we're going to have to really look at it because we have to shut it off at 15, which is different. You know, you can't talk all the way to the end of the clock. So uh, there's going to be some strategy involved with that if you want to be able to talk the quarterback through it. You know, once once it goes dead at 15, now it's back to the old days where he's on his own. So uh, we got to we got to get a, a feel for that. Um, I thought overall, you know, it was it was pretty clean. A couple missed throws that uh, could have been interceptions that were dropped defensively. I thought we had a few opportunities that we didn't take advantage of. Uh, but overall, it was positive, and we got all four of them good work, which uh, which was good. What are your uh, thoughts on the, your receivers so far this spring, specifically some of the younger guys that are kind of still developing and, and kind of trying to carve out roles? Yeah, I think um, I think guys are at a different stage in their development, right? And we have all different stages. Um, and with the transfers, you know, it's like – Getting Brantley eligible is like you know getting two portal receivers, not one. Um, and uh, you know Chris Long is like getting a third portal receiver because he really couldn't play last year. So I think we have an infusion of talent at the position, and then the young guys are doing well. Um, you know, so I, it's exciting. I think I think the room has some depth to it now, and uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, we need that. We need it desperately. Greg, I'm kind of curious on your thoughts on this. Going back to your first tenure to now, do you feel it's a little bit easier to get true freshmen at the skill positions more playing time just based on the fact that they early enroll now and they had so much training throughout high school? Uh, probably more the early enroll than the so much training in high school. Seven on seven, you know, is a different, different world. Um, being able to do the blocking that you need to do at this level, being able to get off of aggressive press coverage. Um, but yes, the, the the amount of number of people that enroll early now, it's basically flipped. It used to be, you know, half a dozen early and the rest in June. Now it's most of them in early and a half a dozen in June. That, so that certainly helps. Um, Now, I, I like our young, I think we have some really good young talent right now, so that, that's exciting. As you've built the culture here, last year at this time, you liked the leadership. Where has it gone to now, that leadership? Well, it's several of the same leaders, right? So um, I think it's even stronger. They're more mature, they're more experienced. So anytime you're more experienced at doing something, you hope you would do it better, right? The only thing they can get you is if you think you got it, right? I got this. Well, what I tell the players all the time is when you think you got it, it's got you. So we just have to keep working at it. And the relationships, you can't lead unless you have relationships with your teammates. Um, that's the critical part. But I, I like the chemistry of our team. I think it, it's a tight team. And guys respect the elder, upperclassmen, which is important. But you turn a lot of guys on the offensive line with starting experience. Do you kind of have an idea of the five you want, or is that still kind of up in the air maybe, and we'll go on through camp? Yeah, I have a pretty good idea, but uh, there's still competition every day, right? But, yeah, I, I think I have a pretty good idea who it'll be on opening opening day if we can stay healthy. Just now year two with Kirk, have you seen overall offensively the guys kind of making the progress that you've wanted to see in terms of picking things up, uh, recognizing what they need to see and things like that, and just kind of making the adjustments that they need to? Yeah, I have. I mean, certainly the second go round, anytime you do something for a second cycle, you're going to improve. Plus it's a second cycle with flats in the O-line, right? So when you look at those two things, second cycle with Brock and Johnny with the with the wideout. So, like, you look at things uh, – Coach Shaw now second cycle with the running backs. Uh, I'm excited, you know, that uh, that we can be better on offense, and we need to be right. We weren't good enough, so we have to be better. But be better is a relative term. You know, we, we need to be substantially better. Uh, Coach, obviously, a couple new cornerbacks out there today. Um, how's how's the evaluation of that position? And 
where do you think you are uh, looking for that number two? Uh, I think, I think Shorty, you know, uh, Salam has really got natural ability at the position. I do. I think he's going to, uh, he's going to play. He's 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 athletic. He's fast. Competitor. So I'm excited. Um, you know, who else were you referencing? Uh, I guess it's one mask out there. I'm just generally who would be you know, the number two corner. Yeah, I think Bo Shorty. Um, you know, Eric Rogers, well, Eric and Eric and um, Robert are the starters. But you know, we we roll guys and we play guys. You know, we kind of have a three man rotation all the time. Plus, guys go in and play the star and the nickel. So um, we play multiple DBs. We don't just play four. We play five and six DBs. So I like the depth we have there. I like the depth we have on the D line, and I think at the linebacker Moses and. Uh, Moses is doing a really good job as his DJ. So those two guys and, uh, you know, when you have Mo and you have uh, Tyreem and then you have those two guys that are really coming on strong and and and, and uh, Jameer Wright Collins is also, I thought, had a good spring. So, you know, if you have depth on defense, you got to play it all. You want guys that are fresh, that are running around. Um, you know, there's there's the – the advent of these sideline devices that they're going to be able to watch, that's going to help too. You know, sometimes you worry, well, a guy just can't get in the flow because he's not seeing it. Well, he's seeing it now. He sit down and watch it in between series. So, you know, you may you may be able to play even more guys, which uh, I love that for two reasons. One, they practice harder all week when they know they're going to play. Number two, it keeps everybody fresher for the long haul. You know, I felt last year we literally stumbled to the finish. We just didn't have the size and the stamina to finish like this. So we limped to the finish. And, and you know what? It's my goal not to do that this year. we got to be able to finish the season going like that. So um, a lot of thoughts going into that as well. Staying on that topic at safety, you have some young talent in there with Kaj and you move Jesse. What are they doing? Uh, how are they faring, I should say, and, and what's your overall impression of that group? Yeah, I think those young guys have a chance. They just need to they need to log reps, right? Um, back there, you're covering a lot a large area of real estate against the best athletes on the field. The receivers, you know, I always joke with the DBs. If you were the best athlete, you'd be over there catching balls for touchdowns, right? So you have to defend them. They know where they're going. You don't. Those are serious disadvantages, right? So you really have to be smart. You really have to understand angles, cutting people off. That's what the young guys, you know, people say, why are reps important? Because you get a feel. It's like when you started driving. You know, when you first started driving, it was you know, look, looking over your shoulder. And then as you get more comfortable and you're looking in the rear view, right? As the more you play, the more you understand angles, the more you understand how to read the quarterback. It's more of this kind of driver instead of the white knuckle guy. And that's what they need to do. They need to accumulate reps so they can do that. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate you covering it.